to know what uh, Kyla Colburn is going to talk to us about. Please welcome her to the stage now. Thank you so much, and thank you for allowing me to be here today. I have for you today a three-minute message of urgency, integrity, and hope. We've been hearing about climate change for years now, and it seemed like this massive, abstract, far away problem. It's too abstract, too big, and too far away for us to be worried about. But the fact is that the effects of climate change are here and now. We're seeing them all over the world. We're seeing them in phenomena like fires, floods, drought, hurricanes of ever-increasing intensity, melting ice. And all of these phenomena are directly linked to our human behavior. Unfortunately, as things get worse, they get worse. Solar radiation that used to bounce off the Arctic sea ice now gets absorbed by the water as the sea ice melts. That solar radiation heats the water and causes more ice to melt faster. So things are accelerating. Now, this is the brand that New Zealand has been putting out to the world for the past 10 years. This is what our entire tourism economy and many of our exports are built on, us being clean, green, and 100% pure. And I'm sad to tell you that we are right now out of integrity with this brand. New Zealand is currently the fifth worst country in the OECD when it comes to carbon emissions per capita. And it's not as if we're isolated from the effects of climate change. Our glaciers are melting. Our farmlands are in drought. And now is the time for us to act. I'm just going to go quickly backwards through a time, timeline here. The current science tells us we have to reverse the carbon concentration in the atmosphere by 2015 in order to make a difference in the effects of climate change. Our obligations under the Kyoto Protocol run out in 2012. And what we do subsequent to then will be determined at the climate talks in Copenhagen this December. That means that right now we have two months to let our political leaders know where we stand on this issue. We have two months to let people know that we want them to be leaders and not followers. Now, 76% of us realize that climate change is a big issue, and yet fully 36% of New Zealanders think we should be following the lead of other countries on this crisis. And in my experience of New Zealand since I've been here for four years, that is not who New Zealanders are as a country. We are leaders. We are not followers. We are people who are unafraid to get out in front of some of the biggest issues in the world and say no when it needs to be said. Now, I did say I'd have a little bit of hope for you, and there is lots of hope. Some of the most exciting projects all over the world are taking place in the sustainable arena and right here in Auckland and in New Zealand. But now is the time for us to stand up and take our place alongside the millions of humans throughout history who have performed miracles when miracles needed to be performed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kyla.